there it is, you guys, the heart of Ohio. Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. We are back at Ohio's largest antique mall, heart of Ohio. Look, I gotta tell ya, wherever we go shopping throughout Ohio, the one place we always hear about is heart of Ohio. And there's good cause for it because it's massive. We're gonna get inside, you guys, check it out, see what kind of very unique, high-end, almost museum quality items that we can find and hopefully we'll be able to find some deals for resale. Let's get inside and check it out. Here we go. Noticing some new paint. They're going for a white and a black versus that cream and green. Excited to see the changes. There are new owners, uh, Burner's Auction House, so uh, they're making a lot of changes with regards to the layout, the paint. It's exciting. Um, so yeah, congratulations. Let's do it. We're all about the treasures. Look at that giant buffet and a elk there or ram. It's an animal. Head on down wing six. It's one of my favorite wings because there's, I found a lot of good, oh, knock on wood, Michael. I found some good deals in wing six, specifically this booth has usually been a really good one. It's a small rabbit head. They're cute. How much is it? Three fifty for the tiny little rabbit. I can't help it. Craftmaster, super groovy outfits. Please do not open unless purchased. Factory sealed, original mini mod paper dolls unopened. Trust me, she said. Trust me, Craftmaster. Touch with the wand and close. Stay on. No pace, no tabs. Close, hold on like Matt. Yeah, but do they though? Do they? Let's run a comp on this. Well, as you saw from the screenshot, we can't compete with it. Now, that one was opened, but it is complete. So, I mean, ultimately, I would think that the person who buys it is going to want to open it. So, we'll leave that one behind, but it is definitely a good deal. You don't have to pay shipping on it. That one was, what, 10 something to ship? So, we'll just see. The reason I like this vendor is they usually have some good kit, but um, their prices are really nice. They're very... They're very reseller friendly. Um, there is that rose bill. There's a chip on it. I do know that. What's this? What is going on with you, little weird one? Do you see that? 12. I'm not in love with it. Even though it is a... Oh, there's a doll baby head. <laughs> Made in Germany, Armand Marcel. Hmm. You know, it looks like this would have had flirty eyes. See the holes in the side of the head? She's cute. She's gonna get ya. But I'm gonna behave. I don't need the head. <laughs> but if you have an extra tea saucer, it's how you can display your, your doll heads. Oh my lord. Okay, anything else? I don't see anything else, so we're gonna stick. Oh, here's another <laughs> beheaded. What's that? I see it, don't you worry. Look at. Cute. She's got all the craft kits, like in pristine condition. Oh, look, there's another one unopened. Snap the magic dragon. He lives on the land. Oh my gosh. That one's a great graphic. Each contains six 8x10 pictures, 12 non-toxic colors, and an artist artiste brush. Whoa, those are super groove. Super groovy. Oh, poop. She didn't put a price on it. How much is this one? Let's see. 21. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be about the same price. So once a little rich for our reselling blood, we're gonna leave her there. Um, what's over here? Little tiny treasures. No. No. Ooh, more tiny treasures. Let's see. Tiny, tiny treasures. 
Is there anything for me to buy? What are you, little itty bitty Santa? The violence of it all. Oh my lord. Oh, it's a hat and scarf. What is this? It's a cutting board with a troll with an angel on it. No, okay. Well, to be honest, you guys, the only thing I found so far is some bunny heads. Though, while very cute, I kind of am looking for some <laughs> something a little bit more impactful, you know. Uh, but we're going to keep it going. I'm back here in the back. I checked out one of my favorite vendors, but it doesn't seem like they've done a lot of restocking. So it is what it is. We're just going to try to make the most of it and see what other deals maybe we can find here. A little beaded purse here. That is at $20. My goodness. What a look. <laughs> Don't know. I'm liking the quietness of it today. I'm not going to lie. I think it makes for a more enjoyable browsing experience. I don't know. Is it me or has like... Everywhere you've gone lately, like, the music is just, like, blaring. And it's not just for recording purposes, but it's just like, oh my gosh, I can't concentrate. I feel like, ah. Especially when there's a lot of stuff to look at. I just think having it a little bit more quiet, it really just... It makes for a better browsing experience. I don't know. Could be just me. Let me know super excited here for a second i'm on the hunt for 35 millimeter film to put in our magic lantern unfortunately these are 8 and 16 millimeter film so not what we need for the magic lantern but gosh darn it we're not going to give up hope i did see this one down here it's kind of hiding that one is also a 16 millimeter so we're still going to keep the eye out for 35 millimeter I seem to be having this problem of late. I did see these um, paper mache uh, Western Germany eggs. There's three. They're all the same pattern. They're, the pattern's repeated on the other. They're in really good condition. Um, and I got super excited because I thought it said $18 for the set of three. And I was like, well, naturally, because that's a great, very kitschy graphic. And then I looked at the price tag again. It's $118. <sighs> Now, I did find some stuff in here before. I think I might have cleaned it out. I want to double check just to make sure they didn't add anything in new. We do have some paper craft down here. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Like little soldiers and trains. That's interesting. Oh, it's from the same company that I got mine before. I'm not overly impressed with these, to be honest with you. Those are just kind of okay. Uh, ooh, what are you? A little Kessner. Ooh, she's in a, she's in a state. She's had a life. Oh, tiny little girl. Little rough, full bisque body. That hair is just interesting. It feels, it's actually... This is going to skeeve some of you out. A human hair wig. Um, she's 20. She's an itty bitty. She's got some great antique clothes. Okay. I'm talk. I just had this conversation. I'm going to get in so much trouble for buying another one of these. But shh. You know that it's tiny. I can sneak it into the collection. And I'll never notice. <laughs> Now that little seven inch blue iridescent, it is a Fenton piece. I think that is so cute. It's an amethyst undertone too. That thing looks metallic. I really am digging that. I'm gonna take a risk and spend the 20 on that one just because I think it's really cute. And I love that iridescent effect on it. My goodness, it looks like it's metal. So we're going to get that out of the case and we're going to take that home with us for sure. Um, I don't spy really anything else. 
that I'm wanting to take with us. So we'll get uh, someone to let us in there and we're gonna have that one held up front for us. Yeah, I made a mistake. There is a $15 panda. He looks vintage. I love the looks of him. So we're gonna get him out and check him out too. Oh yeah, that panda's got a great look. He's a little rattle. 15, I think we will take him for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we also got this interesting donkey at 10. He's kind of crazy. I like the crazy, we'll take the, the donkey too. Thank you. Giant box of coral beads, 195 for, you want a little a ASMR? <laughs> so I do love the really unusual art glass and I spied this piece it's um, quite different let's see if I can get it out here gently all right so it's definitely hand blown oh it's 85 herb Thomas art glass look at that oh is there a face there's a face on it here let me whoa, whoa. okay come on Michael get yourself together do you see the face and it's like wait okay hold on so there is what we have it as look at that it is so exceptionally odd and weird do you see the iridescent effect there's a paper in there let's see what it says newspaper article here about herb and some awards um, that he has won interesting so it's a little bit more of a contemporary he's more of a contemporary artist is it signed oh here it is yep right there i don't know if you can see it but it's 85 dollars but it's so unique and different and uh, it's so odd What do we think? Oh my gosh. Okay, so here is the thing. Um, he has some very, like, what I'm going to call safe pieces, very traditional uh, pieces that there aren't very, they don't quite frankly command a whole lot. However, he does have some really interesting artisan pieces that command several hundred dollars. And I just think this is so weird and different and odd. I'm going to take a risk on this and we're going to pick it up, you guys. Yeah, we are. Okay, guys. So, um, there's one of my favorite booths. Okay, that's really stinking cute. And I don't even, I mean, I just, this is what drew my, uh, let's talk about this. Okay. <laughs> um, here's a little bohemian jack and pulpit face. Now, it does have a rough spot up here. So, it does seem that it, the very tip has gotten broken off. But it's that gorgeous ox blood. Um... I love these pieces. Richard has one now, so we'll, I mean, if I'm, maybe that'll be my bargaining power for getting the doll. I wonder if that glows. Let's see. I don't think they do. The one we have now doesn't, though. No, it doesn't. Okay, so that's bargaining power. <laughs> and I did spot this. Clear glass face, little swung. I like this pattern. I've never seen anybody with that pattern before. That's a pretty one. Isn't it? Can we see? That's the only thing about clear glass. Let's try it down. Here we go. That's interesting. It's got, do you see the light reflection on it? It's a great quality glass. It's not a cheap one. Good weight. Hmm. I'm gonna take a risk on this one and get this too. I love the clear glass, it's timeless. I thought those were chips, but do you see the cuts around there? It's like those small details, you know? Okay, we're definitely gonna get that one. Gosh darn it, no I'm not. There's a... Okay, we're putting it back. We've got a little hairline in there. Yeah. Let's go back to this little, what is this? I don't know, this nonsensical business. It's a spring chicken. <laughs> Aren't you hilarious? Okay, so it's totally 
somebody made that and I respect that. It's only 650, but I am gonna put it put it back. Uh, and then I did see some Miller what well, this is the second time that I have found some new are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Are you seeing that? Are you, am I imagining things right now? Okay, the day just got a lot better. Um, guess where that's going? Yep, it's going in that basket there. Yeah, there's a little paint loss right there, but good night. Okay, this vendor's just trying to become my new favorite vendor. I'm not mad at ya. Are we missing anything else? Prices are really good in here. What's this little elf planter? Eight fifty for the elf planter. I don't know. I feel like these have really kind of fallen out of favor. Uh, it's only eight fifty, so yeah. I mean, I think we can at least double our money on it. Okay, I'll get this too. I know some of you are like, you better get the. Look at the little birdies over here, sweet vintage chicky birds oh by the way I'm a1 so they give you a little tag here and then they put the stuff that was in cabinets up front um, just to make sure that the things don't walk away it's a shame they have to do that but that's the reality of the world we live in so okay we're gonna add pixie planter to the basket if that's not a motley crew I don't know what is heck yeah okay one's well, gonna go over here and somebody so they were selling stuff out their booth. Congratulations. Um, but I found Lucite candles in here before. It was in this one. So much just... Like, they were really cheap, too. So we're definitely going to want to make sure. Tiny treasures, but nothing. What is this? Ooh, it's acrylic. Why do I like that? That's fun. It's time to, I don't know y'all. Why am I in love with this so? Is that not like super fun? Let's get, it's $10, I'm gonna get it. It'll go great with the bluebirds, right? Let's see here. Anything else before we move along? Oh, I spot, I spot a vintage bunny. Uh, let's see if we can get down here with the knees. Oh no, it's not a bunny, it's a bear, Michael. <laughs> it's still pink and oh, he's $2. Let's save him, a little carnival prize, pink and blue. How good for your spring and Easter, it's $2. Yeah, we'll get him, to, look, he goes good with the flower too. It's just getting weirder and weirder. Okay, I'm seeing something. Okay, 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 okay. Tablecloth A, puppy watching TV. Tablecloth B, 37 by four. Ow. It seems that only one corner was embroidered. Wow, that's really cute. I don't know. Yeah, if it was a little more elaborate, I probably would go. That's. I mean, they're adorable. Um, I'm not gonna risk it just because again, it's a little bit more simple. What is this? Home needle creations elephant pal crib quilt. Oh, okay, that's instructions boo <laughs> All right, let's check out this booth and the thing that I want to check out is Babe now these are actual vintage one of two Easter rabbits 385 for the pair. What are you serious right now? Oh my word. Yeah, yeah. Let's just make sure I'm not seeing things. One of two, 385. Whoa, those are cute. I love the colors on these two cuties. Well, we've got some good prices. I've actually pulled um, a beautiful piece of antique Amberina, not Amberina, Amber Glass, 19 for that, not bad, um, out of here. We'll see if we can't find anything else. And let's see, too. That's actually, I think, a Murano piece of glass. 
but you got 365. Mm, isn't that pretty, that yellow? I don't... Mm, I mean, it's a good deal. I just... Ugh, I don't know. Um, let's see if we can find anything else. Um, I'm not spying anything else. No. All right, guys, we are going to, I'm doing this because Frank Sinatra is playing right above us. You can probably hear him in the background, but we're not going to let him get the best of us. No, we're not. Hmm. Let's see here. She's painted really well, that half doll. Oh, a little baby Pyrex Amish butter print. Um, ooh, look out. Oh my. <laughs> that jack in the box. It's not freakish at all. Oh, look at the little lamb chop. What is this? Finger puppets. Stop, there's, oh, she's got chewed though. She did get chewed. Hum. Mammoth series. Oh, it is a big old book, huh? It looks like it's a black and white. My goodness, the cover on that is pretty amazing, though. Um, I don't see a mark on the half doll, and I should be able to see it on the interior here, but there is no marking on her, so. Okay, this is a really interesting sugar and creamer set. It looks like it's Viking. They have it marked as is. I can see it in the... Is... Yeah, do you see... Yeah, we can see it there. It seems like it was actually used. That's a shame. That's got some great... Um, it, oh, is it the set for $9, though? I mean, that is... That really... Uh, there's more fractures. I wonder, honestly, the more I look at it, if in the handles here, that wasn't actually created, that wasn't from the manufacturer, versus, I think that was actually from the manufacturer, not from actual use. Do you see it there in the... If it wasn't, the glass was a little too cool wasn't hot enough and so when they bent it it created those fractures in there let me see on this creamer here see the creamers yes the creamers coming apart I don't know um Golly, that's got a great shape though to it though, doesn't it? I mean, the sugar alone at $9, I don't know, that can, I just, it's making me a little uncomfortable. It really truly is. If I'm that uncomfortable with it, I'm not gonna get it. I think for the right collector, I mean, that's a beautiful set at nine bucks, but I'm gonna hold off on that one. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the other, oh my goodness, I just had one of these. Hey, I paid $9 for this, the other one that I had. Ooh, that one's got some really bad straw marks in it. Do you see it? Okay, so mine did not, so I'm gonna put that back. This is pretty. Um, um, not overly in love with it. Uh, what else did I see? This little art glass cardinal. Now, he is cute. That one is cute. That is $7 for an art glass cardinal. Yeah, we'll take an art glass cardinal for $7. Let's stick that down in there. Let's put this creamer back over here before I forget. Um. Ooh. I don't... 15. I mean, that Bolacante is on the point. I will say that. I'm not in love with the color. What is it? A peach? Is it an apple? 
who knows let's see here what is this red glass ball they ooh oh giant air bubble so not of the best quality on that one um over here crystal ball love it nine dollars clear glass paperweight we're gonna take that i like the clear ones with all the bubbles it's fun and i did spot one more thing we've got an art glass deer here with bulacante bulacante hey um, he's at 18. What do you think? It's a clear glass deer. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Do we like the deer? I mean, you like the deer, but do you want to buy the deer? Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay. 18. Oh, I'm sure. I'll get him. I gotta say I'm not the biggest fan of these because these always look like dead fish floating. I <laughs> I've ruined it for everybody. Now you're welcome. Yeah, okay, so we did spot this Fenton Amber Hobnail. It is a pedestaled candy dish. The sculpt is unusual. They didn't produce a whole lot of these. I actually had one of these before in their colonial blue. I love the presence on this piece. It's very regal in my opinion. So at $24 with no condition issues, I'm most certainly going to pick this up. This is a pre-1970 piece too. So it is real good and vintage. Showing you that Fenton. I did see this pottery. Is this pottery piece back here? They have a hand-painted folk art vase. Um, where is it? It looks like a souvenir piece, if I'm to be honest with you. Did it say signed? Hand paint? No, it didn't say signed. Um, I like the colors, but we're going to hold off on that one. Up front, they do have some like cleaning products, some display products, and of course, I need creepy doll baby stand. So with that, we're going to go ahead and check out, and I'll see you outside, guys. Well, guys, there you go. Another amazing experience here at Heart of Ohio. Uh, I'm really pleased. I think we got a wide variety of different items, a lot of things for a lot of different tastes. It's what I like to do. It's fun. I think it is dynamic that way. Uh, and you just definitely never know what you're going to find over here. Speaking of you guys, as always, down in the comments, let me know what your favorite find of the day was or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works, and you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.